Hi, my friends. Here, Yari with Third Eye Yari, ready for another reading. See what spirit wants us to know today. So, we're gonna start with Atlantis today. See what we have to know today. What can help us today? What's gonna be for the highest? Good. And this is education. Drawing these cards suggests that you open yourself to new learnings by relaxing and absorbing information rather than rather than in the old logical structure way or alternatively it may be time for you to teach others in this case draw from your own wisdom not books open up to learn then ground the knowledge then spread the knowledge I don't know where my little eyeglasses are. I forgot to take them. I usually have them here, but I don't see them, so we're gonna have to do. All right, it's all right. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay. <clears throat> now from the Spirit Animal Oracle. And I'm really liking this this deck. So I'm gonna start a new project. Um, and of course, by the time that you see this, I'm gonna have started this a week ago. Um, <clears throat> so maybe I can show you soon <laughs> or sooner. Um, I'm gonna start a new project. I'm gonna start making candles with crystals, which I love. Um, so if you're interested um, in purchasing some, they'll be for I'm going to add some essential essences, um, essential oils um, to those um, that will be helpful for, you know, opening the third eye and everything spiritual. Um, when I have some done, I'll let you guys know and I'll show you in, in one of the videos. All right. So let's see which spirit animal is here with a bat spirit. Our rebirth is assured. And when I see the bat, this card number five, by the way, when I see this, I think about the hangman, which is Pisces um, energy. Let's see, number five. Bad spirit. Oracle message. After something has run its course and died or been released, finished, surrendered, completed, or ended, there is a promise of new begin of a new beginning. Rebirth is assured just as night gives way to dawn and the bat emerges from the darkness of a Womb like cave. Bad spirit has come to remind you that this rebirth is a miracle one, is a miraculous one. For the very best elements of what you had to give up in the death of the old are still present in this new amazing life forming now. This is the miracle and magic 
of rebirth in every aspect of your life, including the rebirth of faith in your ability to establish new and healthy relationships. So this is more like the death card energy. It still reminds me just because the um of, of the hangman, just because the, the the bat, you know, sleeps um hanging upside down. So it's like He has something in his forehead. I'm not sure what it is. Um, so it's almost like a merge between the death card and the hangman. All right. Let's see what else we got. went where went who knows where all right and this one says the blue flame spontaneous awakening activation integration time so this is interesting because awakening it's definitely a rebirth and it's definitely learning when you awaken, you have to learn so many things on how the universe works and how to live your life in a different way. You cannot be awakened and continue living the life that you were living. It's just, I mean, that's not to be awakened. I guess you could say that you don't want that. And that's just being aware of other people being awakened, not being awakened. If you're awakened, you just can't go back. It's not an option. So <clears throat> there's definite, definite correlation in those three Oracle cards. And let's see which Ascendant Master is going to help us in this. Twin flame. So this is one of the big elements that people learn about when awaken. I mean, you you hear that, and you know, because it's it's a it's common term terminology, but you really don't know what it means to have a twin flame until you awaken and you get into this way of life. And. His name is Angus, or her name, Angus. I don't know if that's the way you spell it, or you um, say it. And she is definitely awakened. Her her third eye is activated, and her... her um, Crown chakra is definitely awakened, and there is a beautiful rainbow right there, and she has that swan with her. Hmm. The twin flame journey is not easy, just as awakening is not easy either. I mean, it's, some people that are not awakened think that you know you to inflame them, bloop, happily ever after. No. It don't work like that. It's really 
card because you're a mirror of one another. So, you know, everything that one goes through, the other goes through. And except that the masculine is usually a runner or one of them, normally the masculine, but it could be the feminine. Uh, one is a runner and the other one is the chaser until the chaser stop chasing. Um, and there's a lot of issues until they awaken and grow and, and raise their vibration. And then, you know, they usually go in separation until they learn they have karmic relationships. They learn they raise their vibration and then they can come together. I mean, you know, that's that's a very, 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 very <laughs> uh, short and simplified summary of what a Twin Flame journey is. There's a whole lot. Um, yesterday I had, I, I said it yesterday in the video that I made in, at night. Um. I attended a four and a half hour webinar. It was supposed to be two hours. It extended to, you know, to four and a half hours. Um, and there were still a lot of questions. People would have stayed, but um, the two moderators, uh, Made for Love and, and Charla, I'm, I'm sure they were exhausted. Um, okay, so let's, let's get to this. So we have the Ace of Wards in reverse. The three of wands in the reverse, the four of wands uh, right side up, and the seven of swords in reverse. Okay, so definitely it's uh, the, the, the ace of swords is, is a new beginning. And when the new beginning is in reverse, uh, the new beginning is blocked or delayed. And the swords are very much your your mind and communication. So, you know, until we do this, we learn. Um, wow. So this is about the twin flames, not necessarily... Well, it's, it, it all comes together, right? Now, in not everybody has a twin flame. Um, well, everybody has a twin. Not all, not in every lifetime you are uh, reincarnated together. So when you are, in order for this to work, well, you don't have to be awakened in order for it to work because it's going to work out itself the way it's going to work out, regardless you are aware of it or not. It's just that it's so much easier if you do. So, spontaneous awakening. So, wow. So, and that can happen. That can happen with, with twins that there's spontaneous awakening and that's the rebirth and when there is there's just no way around the education the learning and then when you and those two little girls almost look like twins um when when you learn it's so much better for you if you spread your knowledge Especially in this um, in these times of great awakening, uh, we need to spread the word, um, and that's hard. It's hard for me. Well, I'm here on YouTube, right? But the people who look for this kind of videos are people who are already interested. Um, you know, I'm uh, myself in my in my everyday life I I don't I don't deny it but I don't offer a lot of information if I don't see receptivity of people um, and people very easily say if they're interested or not I mean it's not hard to know 
So I think this reading is about the that twin flame journey and and how that pushes uh, many times a spontaneous awakening and then the learning happens and and you are definitely going to change the way you think and the way you communicate. So this is how you are before this happens and then it's going to turn upside down. I mean, right side up. And you're definitely going to have to get out of your comfort zone. Um, when first you're going to have to retreat and go inside and meditate, get together with nature, um, everything that you need to do to be able to listen to self and to the, the divine and, and the universe. And then after that, you can take a look at your options and come out of your comfort zone. Come out of your comfort zone and explore new things. Explore the things that you have learned. You know, a year ago, if you have told me I'll be doing YouTube videos and reading tarot in, in them, uh, I'll be like, are you nuts? <laughs> so, um... Or well, I would say, you know, I would love that, but I don't think I can. Um, and here I am. Um, so you have to first go inside, which is what a three in reverse tells us, that we need to get away from groups. And I, I tell everybody who will listen that you really need that time to listen to your own thoughts without YouTube without TikTok, without this, that, the other. Um, so you really need to um, to go inside. And after you have done your share of introspection and education, then you can start looking at your options and going outside your comfort zone and trying out new things. Um The Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords always talks to me, well, it's about reflection and assessment and about control, but it all, always makes me feel as somebody that has won a battle or has won something and is getting away with it. And sometimes getting away with it, like in a mischievous way, sometimes not. And I think in this reading specifically it's not about well when it's in reverse which is how we started is having is about too many options and lack of clarity but after we do this work and learn stuff then we're going to be able to decide okay i'm going to go with this and that i'm really not interested in that or that and that's what I think is going, is what it's telling us. And, and I think this is the outcome because this is what everybody wants, right? Everybody wants a happy life. This couple seems like they're getting married. So this is about commitment. And it can be commitment with yourself. But since we have here the twin flame, I think it's commitment to the other. I think you need to start with commitment to yourself and then you can commit to the other. To have a happy and balanced home life. This is beautiful. Um, do we need more tarot? I don't think we do. I think it's pretty clear. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, with or without the twin flame, this is about the same rebirth. Anybody who is um, awakened goes through and... You know, the, the cards tells us very, um, very neatly, very efficiently how, uh, what, what's the process. You know, you awaken, you find uh, knowledge, um, and then you can start trying things out until you find, find that niche. You find what works for you. 
because being awakened is not the same for everybody. Um, you know, some people, you know, there's so many things that you can do spiritually and, um, you have to find what works for you. So you, and that's, that's this, that's finding, you know, um, looking at your options and trying different things after the introspection. So it's very nice how the, these cards work so well, um, in the reverse and then turn them upside up, up, right side up to tell us, you know, what are the steps to find our outcome, which is that commitment to self and the others. All right, let's see some letters. We love our letters. And we have S, J, W, X, V, P, Q. Okay, so no, no vowels. S, J, W, X, V, P, Q. <laughs> That's exactly what I was talking about. You're going to find so many different practices in spirituality when you awaken and not everything works for everybody. So you have to find your own messages. You have to find your own, um, your own practices that are gonna work for you. You know, if there's not a set prescription for everybody, not everything is gonna work for everybody. Let's see what the charm is gonna tell us. So we're gonna play around. We're gonna play around with different um with different things with different practices with yoga with meditation with i ching with runes with tarot with medi with uh different kinds of divination we're going to play around we're going to play around until we find our niche until we find ourselves into the world that we are comfortable in and let me tell you spirituality has definitely changed my world it's definitely changed my world my 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 life my daily life the way i think the way i act is completely different completely different from where i was before and it's not that i was a bad person or a mean person or anything like that i was a nice person but my awareness of other my awareness of spirit is just completely different completely different and again we have the elementals here we have our little mermaid who's helping us to listen to messages and we have two words here Let's see what they are. This is dream. Dream big, my friends. Dream big. Because the universe doesn't have a ceiling on our dreams. And wish. Wish for the stars. Wish for the stars because the sky is the limit. And the sky is limitless. I've loved this uh, this message. I really have. Um, and I really appreciate all your comments. They are fantastic. They are wonderful. I love them and, and I and I try really hard to um, to comment um, to respond to all of them. And if I don't it's because I'm either very, very busy or, or I've taken a day off. <laughs> I'm a busy lady with my big family and a full time job and then doing this. So but I will get to the comments and I will 
uh, respond to them. Thank you so much for your time. I hope that you're enjoying the readings as much as I am. And uh, let me know in the comments if you um, what you think about all of this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with somebody that you think is going to be helpful to. And um, tell your friends to come join this little community to make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay? And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.